Good morning. This is Reverend Pam Gagan, and there is a power for good in the universe, and you can do it. You Not only can you use it, but you can use it to do what you desire with it. <laughs> and so, welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley, in Camarillo, California. And this is day six in a series of manifestations from ideas from the book of Janet Connor, The Lotus and the Lily. Actually, it's day seven. And congratulations, you've been through seven days uh, during this meditation. And uh, it's about the teachings of the Buddha and Jesus and how to manifest things in your life. And the great masters of the Buddha and Jesus told us millenniums ago how to create an abundant life. And they didn't say you have to be clear about what you want or even ask for. Jesus said when conditions are sufficient, actually Buddha said when conditions are sufficient, there is manifestation. Jesus said when we pursue right relationships with the universal one and allow this relationship to align with our lives, that's when we produce a condition of receptivity. And that's what it takes, uh, uh, a willingness and a receptivity. Uh, which anything we need to help us complete our purpose in life will be supplied by the universe, by the Holy One, 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 W-H-O-L-L-Y, the one of which we are a wonderful aspect of. And even though Jesus and Buddha lived 600 years apart, they gave birth to very different spiritual traditions, and yet they were so much alike. The, B, the Buddha and, and the Christ, Jesus Christ, taught, however, the exact same thing. You create a beautiful life by creating fertile conditions, fertile soil, and not by asking anything. That was how you manifest things in what you want and some things even that you don't want by not focusing on them, but instead by placing our undivided attention and our connection with the vibrational presence of the divine in and through and as us above and beyond and all around us, the great divine within. So in this meditation series, we follow a natural order each day that builds to a soul day at the end of 30 days of this program. And today is day seven. And so, and the title uh, is Stop and Savor. Thich Nhat Hanh from his book, The Heart of the Buddhist Teachings, says Buddhist meditation has two aspects, samadha and vipassana. And we tend to stress the importance of vipassana, which means looking deeply because it can bring us insight and liberate us from suffering and afflictions. But the practice of samadha, stopping, is fundamental. If we cannot stop, we cannot have insight. In, 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 into me I see, intimacy within. Uh, that's what intimacy has always meant to me. Into me I see. So this is a wonderful time to have a conversation with your guides. Also, it's a good time uh, to write about this week, uh, a preparation that it's taken you. It's a good time to explore the insights and discoveries and surprises and fears that were revealed during this last week. Look at what was fun and what was difficult. Most importantly, when we leave today, look how your perception of your own spiritual intelligence and power has shifted, expanded, or changed. Did you discover anything new? I certainly did. Discover is an egg, by the way, discover is an ancient Latin word that means to remove the covering. That's what you did last week, and you'll be doing it throughout these meditation practices. You are uncovering the truth that is already alive in your soul. And whether you uncover it with great things or things that aren't so pretty, don't judge them. They may be exactly what you need to know or experience for right now. Celebrate, bless, savor your week just the way it was and savor what is going to be revealed coming up in and through and as you. And as we leave here today, don't forget to list all the gifts you received and even you will be surprised at what you now consider a gift and by how many of those gifts showed up. Get used to it. Open up to it. 
they're yours they're yours for just the openness and willingness and going to be intimate with the self into me i see by the time you finish the course you'll have a cornucopia of gifts that serve you for the rest of your life so now we come to the second wave of gratitude do you remember the wave of intention you sent, you set out at the beginning of this week to be to to have and to do? Look at that intention. We're going to be going deeper to look at that intention and compare it to what actually happened. And then as you look within, any surprises? This week, what has it taught you about the power of human intention and the wisdom of the divine? Did you learn anything about the power of preparation? And what gifts did you receive this week? And now it's time. We're going to, I use a formula here. I give you information. I, uh, I, um, and I ask that you go within and be more curious about what the process is and how it's affecting you. We go into meditation and then we go to writing also that spirit writing as I call it you are blessed you are loved so now we're gonna breathe in just breathe in relaxing in the chair heavy as we listen to the theta music As we go deeper, deeper into the intimacy of the divine within, and feel this energy coming up to the ground, to the middle earth, as you relax in your chair, or your bed, or wherever you're at, and feel the body heavy, open, willing, excited. Excited and with gratitude, that second wave of gratitude. As we breathe in this energy, relaxing us. Thank your guides and your angels for the divine ground from which we sprang. And so as we breathe in that energy with great gratitude, great love, great knowing that we are loved and supported wherever we are, wherever we are, we stand on holy ground. Breathe that energy now up through the feet, through the ankles, to the calves, the knees, the thighs. Breathe that energy into the root chakra beneath, between the legs, the ruby red root chakra, opening up. Divine light, just opening it up, bringing its magnificence into that energetic presence of the one the one, the one that lies within. Feel it, see it, and yet relax in it. Feel that energy wrapping around now the back and coming up and wrapping around to the sacral chakra, the beautiful orange sacral, sacral chakra, above the root chakra, below the belly button. Just relaxing in and breathing just breathing it all in and then coming up above, 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 wrapping the energy around into the solar plexus, opening the solar plexus, beautiful yellow sun solar plexus. Just continue to breathe in and then coming on up to the root, to the heart chakra. The beautiful emerald green heart chakra. And I always say as I see, I see that, that lotus that sits in the heart. And the lily too. Representative of the Buddha and the Jesus. But any entity or just the beauty 
of what they are. The magnification of the absolute pure beauty of the divine within opening up in your heart. Now that energy wrapping around the back, relaxing the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling the shoulders back, dropping them. You may even drop your head at this time and your neck and just stretch it all out and also allow it to relax in. There's nothing to watch. There's nothing to be concerned about in this moment. This moment is for you to sit in the center and have the center reflect in and through and as you of the divine. Now that energy coming all the way up, going down the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the hands. Feel that energy absolutely flowing out of you, going right up all around you. These are your energy wands. Use them. As you use your mind to set an intention and direct, these are now your energy wands today. Also directing any areas just by touching yourself and relaxing in. And then have that energy come up through the neck through the face, just relaxing the face, but also coming around to the throat chakra, the beautiful sky blue throat chakra. Just relax, knowing that the right and perfect words flow into you, just like the river in the sky with wafting clouds to express your intentions, your oneness, your love, your devotion to something greater than you are. And then the face relax. You may even become slack jawed, allow the tongue, the mouth just to relax. And come on up through the third eye. The wonderful indigo third eye. Between the brows. And then relaxing the forehead. Just relaxing, having that energy wrap all around the body. Feel heavy, feel heavy in your chair, heavy and empty, open. Now feel that energy just shooting out the top of the crown chakra. Like a fountain of good, connecting you to all the universe and all the universes and all the energy, all the wisdom, all the knowledge throughout the ages, throughout eternity. That is your wisdom, for you are the aspect, the light of that wisdom, that spark of intention. And without you, the world is a little darker. Without your light, without your intention, without your creativity, without your joy. The world is not as joyous. The world does not give or allow God to feel the magnificent, the magnitude, the oneness of who it is expressed in all ways, in and through you and all. So let your light shine and connect. during these meditations and all. And now that light comes all around us, just like a shower of good, just like, just like a shower of, of light and, and fireworks all around us from the top to the bottom, to the back to the front, to the left, to the right, to the east, to the west, and all around, above and below, connecting us to who we are, these wonderful third dimensional beingness in this body, and yet, the great beyond within that is connected to the allness of the divine. And now breathing this all in with the God is on the in-breath, 
I am on the out breath. Let us say thank you together. Thank you. Thank you, gratitude raises our vibration, sends vibrational waves of gratitude back into the world. And so now, as we go within and relax within, we're gonna go up five stairs, going higher, one, two, three, four, five. And an angel there is meeting you, walking with you up another set of five stairs. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a door there. It's the door to the not only the soul, but the souls of a council that sit at a wooden table and are so pleased that you have called upon them. There's a chair there for you. you sit down among them and take a moment to not only thank your guides again for the discovery of new ideas, of new awareness, and also the awareness that you're just beginning to scratch the surface of the power of this preparatory preparation. And as the guides are there, ask them their names. Take your pen and paper and write who they are. Ask them who is there to help and guide you. It may be only one. open and receptive. And now writing down their names. And ask them, now as you sit at the table, share with them these 
these things. As you sit in this gratitude, you're there to praise them and thank them. So as I say, thank you in the I am. Know that there is only the one, the one, the one. I am grateful that I learned more about my spiritual power this week. I am grateful that I uncovered new truths. I am grateful about all I discovered about the guides and the council that sit with me. And what I learned about them is after each meditation, I looked up the significance of what they were and who they were. I am grateful that I set my intention and yet it expanded with what actually happened this week. And then look back for a moment on this week and thank them for the greatest gift that stands out to you that was given freely from the divine to you this week with their guidance, your wisdom, your openness and willingness. And now bless them and thank them, knowing that this guide or guides will be with you. They are part of your counsel, your spiritual counsel, always guiding and providing for you. As you sit at their feet, they sit at yours. For it is their joy for you to acknowledge and learn more about the divine within and the divine without in the oneness and wherever you are is holy ground. And in the I am, say thank you, I am aware, I am open and receptive that I am just scratching the surface of the power of the presence of the one in this preparation. And now take a moment to honor where you are. Stop right here and savor what is as it is. Recognizing every moment is precious and important and reveals a new way to express and live in gratitude on this planet. Thank you for, thank them for allowing you to learn new things about yourself. For uncovering new truths.
learning new things about setting intentions. And now just sit with them for a moment here. Take this moment to stop and savor. The revelations of a new way to live. Now bless them as you stand up from the table, knowing you can call on them any moment, any time. It is their great joy to be with you, to connect with you in this oneness, in this new way of livingness, being us. Walk out through the door. Walk down the first set of stairs with a five, four, three, two, one. The next set of stairs. Five, four, three, two, one. And when ready, fully present, feeling the body coming back, I share an affirmation, my closing affirmation. I stop to savor each moment of good in my life. And I call today good and very good. And in every day and every way, I am open to receiving gifts of the Spirit. And as we come back into the room, feeling the chair or the bed or whatever it is, opening the eyes. And for the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, I won't be here, but please meditate. Do your spirit writing as I call it. Call in your angels, your guides. Ask them whatever you want. And I'll see you Sunday on Center for Spiritual Living Pleasant Valley at 10.30 a.m. on Facebook and also in person. Join us in person. It's wonderful. And Alberto Del Pino will be with us. And I say namaste, peace out. God is, I am. I let go and let God, as I am surrounded, loved by, supported, and guided by something greater than I am. I love each and every one of you. Have a bliss, blessed day. See you uh, Monday morning for meditation.